Let's talk some crypto for a sec. Renita Young joins us, a senior markets correspondent from the newsroom as Coinbase and others are having a good morning here, Renita, and uh, analysts seem to be kind of mixed on the subject though. They are mixed on it, but I've been waiting to talk about this because I saw last night when these crypto stocks turned positive yeah. after the spot Bitcoin ETF was approved by the SEC. And this morning I'm talking about Coinbase. Now this is another one of those who did a pretty strong 2023 and even right now it's up more than 250% over the past 12 months. But Mizuho says that this approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF is not good news for Coinbase. Why? Because it, Bitcoin ETFs could cannibalize Coinbase's trading business since investors will now have reactions or not reactions, they'll now have access to Bitcoin and exposure to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies through the spot Bitcoin ETF. So any potential upside to Coinbase may be more muted than thought. Now, Coinbase is a custody partner as well of most asset managers that are launching a Bitcoin ETF like BlackRock, Franklin Templeton, and Wisdom Tree. And yes, custody revenue could be good growth in the near term for the company, but Mizuho says that it's just around a 1% to 2% benefit from custody fees, and Coinbase is likely getting between a 5 and 10% benefit total from the ETFs if more spot Bitcoin trading happens as a result. But analysts are still concerned about the impact that this spot Bitcoin ETF could have on the shares of Coinbase and other crypto exchanges, especially since investors can now gain exposure to Bitcoin through spot Bitcoin ETFs. Now, there's also worth noting that in a December 4th report, Bernstein predicted that in less than five years, 10% of the global supply of Bitcoin will be managed by ETFs. That's roughly about $300 billion at the time. And what does that mean for these stocks that are exposed to Bitcoin, that get people exposure to Bitcoin in the future? Yeah, it's an interesting report because they are gonna be providing that uh, custody service. We walked through all the details yesterday uh, with a team of 21 shares who's teamed up with ARK Invest and their uh, custodian is Coinbase. They're like uh, running the vaults and stuff where they're hiding all the crypto keys and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But it's a different business line than everything that happens on the exchange, which is a bigger part. So Dan DeLev here is basically, he's usually pretty good at the math of this stuff, just saying, I guess, that the trade off between the custody and the trading activity that might shift over to ETFs is not favorable for Coinbase. Not favorable, especially because of the low custody fees and the transaction fees mm. as well that may ensue. So we'll really just have to play this one out and see how investors uh, approach it. Yeah, it's gonna take time uh, to shake it out, but it's an interesting report, All right? Thanks for the heads up. So uh, they've got the sell equivalent underperform. Coinbase right now up $2.80. Uh, Bitcoin up 4% though, so it's moving here and uh, we're watching it closely.